How you singing like a leash? You fuck with my family. Baby, look for me, cause I be despising. Do the whole crew, my bitches freak nasty. Let a nigga try me, try me. I'ma get this whole motherfucking farmer. And I ain't playing with nobody. Fuck around and I'ma catch a body. What's going on, folks? With nothing better to do. This is your boy, Blockzilla. You are now tuned into the greatest. You're watching the No Judgment Zone. Today I have a special person, Dage Loaf. Uh, one of the hottest songs in the on the net right now is in the world. What's going on? What's going on, man? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Can't complain. Uh, I was doing a story about Wiz Khalifa at, for his birthday, mm -hmm. and I saw he jumped on your song, Try Me. That's when I first heard it, and uh, I, I haven't listened to his version since. I discovered that. But <laughs> what was it like like when you heard him jump on the song? Um, it was. I mean, actually, I met him. You know, he's good friends with uh, my friend said ain't Tom, Tom, or whatever. And we went to his session, and we was out in L.A. We had stopped at the studio. He was in there, and he told me, he was like, you know what I seen, you know, the Try Me song? He was like, yeah, my boy Sue put me on that. So shout out to Sue for putting him up on it. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you should let me hop on you. He, he actually just told me, like, I'm, I'm going to get on there. You know, and he did it, and he released it for his birthday. You know? That's what, you know, what is it like growing up in, uh, in your hood? Man, it's crazy. Like you get into all type of stuff, man. Detroit. I was, I was part of like every, you know, I, I was raised on the east side, mm -hmm. but I was different parts of it, man. It's crazy growing up in Detroit. It's no place like Detroit. Like, yeah. But I stayed to myself a lot. That's why, you know, I was, a lot, I was like a homebody. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do everything that everybody around me was doing, so I kind of. Did I you get into like uh, the best of both worlds? Was you know, cause I, I know you got a song called College, so you, you obviously went to college. I'm assuming, and then you got the street side of you too. So was it? Did you have like the best of both worlds? Play both sides of the fences. Definitely. That's why you know I can make songs like Try Me because I I see it and I know you know what I mean people about that life. So yeah. it's like that, and then I did go to college. That's why I say I stayed to myself, and I was like I was a good girl in the, in the hood in the projects. I was right. like the good girl, but. You know, everybody around me was just like, uh, was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, seeing your song, doing music for so long, because you, you, you know, you've been putting out music for years, mm -hmm. uh, what is it like now that you have this song blowing up and you got all this attention, everyone's jumping on your song? Man, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's, I, 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 I honestly feel like, um, what is that? Uh, it's about time. It was about time? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. And you got a great shout out from Kylie Jenner. Crazy. So that that was insane. Crazy. Like, I was like, what she know about this? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, who knew? What is mm -hmm. that when you saw that? We was in the hood, actually. It was okay. so funny. Like, we was when she followed me. Well, she she had already tweeted like, try me. I mean, well, Instagram. Then I was like, what? How did she? I had no idea how she heard that, but I was happy because I rock with her and the whole little Kardashian mm -hmm. family. So that was crazy. Next level, like. You know what I mean? yeah. Now your name, Dej Loaf. Where'd you come up with the name? It's a very unique and interesting name. Uh, shoes, like loafers when I was in like high school. Like growing up, I used to wear a lot of Jordans, Nikes, and just gym shoes. And got to high school, I wanted to like be different, you know what I mean, with my style. I'm like, I'm not about to keep wearing Jordans like all of them. I'm about to give me some Gucci loafers. I'm about to start wearing so many, they're going to start calling me Deja Loaf. Mm -hmm. So the idea was like stuck with me, like, okay, that's going to be my name. Yeah. So now it's like, there's more to it now. Like, I don't even really wear loafers. Like, Okay. I'm still Dage. That's what's up, Dage Loaf. I like that. It's dope. And your style is very unique too, because you, you you see a lot of women, especially new rappers, uh, they come into the game and they get overly sexualized. Uh, how do you feel about that and the image that a lot of female female rappers and female MCs portray? I mean, I've been like this from the start. You know, that's that's one thing I want to keep. You know, I want to just be me. Like I feel like it can work, just like it worked for them or however. Like you just be you. Honestly, I mean. Yeah. This is me. Like, my style has been like this, man. Gym shoes. You put on the little slippers in the beginning of the video. What was like filming that video? How did you guys come up with the treatment? Uh, what was that? My manager, man, he actually, the treatment for the video, we wanted to bring, we wanted to keep it like hood, you know what I mean? We wanted to keep it natural and just like not too much. Um, the slippers, man, I, I love robes. That's my thing, and I love just house shoes and just chilling, really kicking it. Yeah. So we wanted to bring the east side and the west side together in the video because it's kind of like a thing going on in Detroit, and we, I just wanted to kind of capture both of those scenes, like, you know, like, 
let's do this together, Detroit. You know, I wanted to do that for for the city. Now I listen to to your SoundCloud, and you you do go from being like try me, try me to you gotta love someone. I can't think of the name right there, but somebody. It, yeah, yeah. when you sort of rapping and singing on the ad libs, I was I thought that was so dope. Yeah, I got my you know I do that. I like melodies, man. Mm -hmm. I like. Singing. I used to be scared to sing, and you know, like now nah, I just kind of do it. Why are you scared? I mean, because it didn't sound right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I was just like, uh, let me just rap. Like, nah, I sing all my hooks. I don't gotta ask nobody for no features. Yeah. You know? You're like, nah, I got. And my this. tone of voice, just it can, you know, I can do it. I was kind of like shy with doing music. Now I'm like, whatever. You say you used to, uh, your dad used to sit you in front of like uh, the stereo and stuff like that. What songs did you, did you grow up off of? Uh, E40. Mm -hmm. uh, Tupac, he played Rakim, he played all that, man. And yeah, what was it like meeting E-40? Crazy. Yeah. OG, follow me on uh, what, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, E-40, man, he, he the OG. He's cool, man. We was kicking it at his house, and he just showed us love, man. Like, he don't want nothing. He was just giving us free game and just talking his little slang. Yeah, I was going to ask you, <laughs> did you pick up any, any of the slang? Yeah, man, he kept saying, um, I think he Uwickle. Just be, he just Uwickle. said, Uwickle. Like, he just be saying all type of stuff. What was the one? I actually got to see him do a verse. That was the craziest part of the situation. Yeah. We was just, I was like, man, That's just dope. to see him, ooh, like, do that little thing. And, like, I was like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, that was crazy. Tell me about I've Been Getting Money. IBGM is a, it's, it's our little label, man. It's uh, me, Said Ain't, uh, Oba Rolling, uh, A Dub. Um, Kyle, uh, DDS, Detroit Charlie, Joy, and we just like a label, man. I've been getting money. That's what it stands for. Mm -hmm. And it's about um, helping people, man. Like you know, not being uh, what sharing, giving, you know. Cool. So I want to ask a question. I might be the only person that wants to know this, but I want to know personally what was college like for you? Like, did you have like an aggravating roommate? Was it anything like that song we put out two years ago called College? Everything in that song was true. Like, if you can hear me in the background, I was talking about one of my roommates, mm -hmm. and I was laughing on the track. You gotta really listen in on it. It's so funny. I was talking about it. Like, I hated my roommate. Uh, on the No Judgment Zone, uh, we do ask personal questions. So, I have a new girlfriend this week. Actually, we've been together for like two weeks, but I promise you, I'm about to break up with her. Uh, she's whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna bring in Chastity Simone. Uh, she's gonna ask you a couple questions. Well, two questions, and um. Get the pick about this bag. Kind of I got it. Oh, it's some crazy questions. It is. Here. It is some crazy questions. We be playing this at home, man. Drinking game. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. If you could put a movie title to your life, what would it be called? Flavors. Why? Because I got all the flavors. Oh, okay. I like them. What's What's next for you? Like, what What's going on? What's the next project? Man, we're trying to drop like a mixtape like ASAP, like probably next month, man. And just go from there. Like, I mean, I just want to deliver good music. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Got a name for the mixtape yet? I don't know yet. You know, we was going with one name. And I'll have it like by like next week. That's what's up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. I want to thank you for coming, coming by, kicking it with us. Thanks for having That's me. That's our show, folks. Join us next week when we dress up in all white, run into your hood, and <laughs> dare you to try it. So I'll be smack little kids and throw water balloons at third graders. Gangsta. Yo, what up? This is Dej Lope. You watching Global Grind. If anything, I can say that this guy was real, but I thought, nah, forget it. Yo, home, the Bel Air. Now singing it. They're yeah. almost tied as far as, you know, uh, smoking goes. So, so smoking with Be Real was very similar to smoking with Snoop.